Let me ask you just one question. Do you want to take your game to that next level? If the answer is yes, then you are not alone. You see, every player from beginner to pro strives to up their game every time they get back to the table. Come with me as I show you proven techniques that have helped me in my quest to become a better player. I am not a beginner, nor am I a professional. I am an average guy on a mission. That mission is to take my game to new heights. Along the way, I hope to inspire and help you in yours. I am Ron, the pool student. Hey, pool players, hey Ron here. I'm going to shoot four shots here, and I'll talk about them in a minute. This is going out to one of my subscribers, Warren Fox. I haven't shot yet today, just a little bit this morning, but I've been uh, busy working on my GoPro all day. I had to load some firmware into it because it was having a problem. So I've been busy with that. So I'm not totally in stroke, so this drill does get me in stroke. Okay, we got one more to go. Oops. I got markers on the table. I tried to put the ball. Right in the same spot, so it's lined up. Okay, so that's four shots. Um, I generally, I, I probably about 90% on that shot. I'm not really in stroke right now. I saw a little rotation on the ball a little bit. You know, it wasn't quite parking perfectly and stopping like a stop shot should. So, but not bad. Like that one right there, that was the best I would say. Yes, it's frozen right to it, so that's perfect right there. And it's in line, somewhat in line. I'm going to cut it a little tiny bit. I can tell if the ball is in line with the pocket here, if I've actually cut the ball in. You can still make the ball, in, but you know, cut it just slightly or cheat the pocket, and it'll show right there when the cue ball stops. The reason I want to do this video, though, is Warren had uh, made a comment to me today, uh, those of you who are watching this, is that he's having trouble with his long straight in shots. And I've mentioned this several times, but I'm, I, I think it's worthy of uh, a rerun here because this drill is no doubt the best for my stroke. I'm talking for me now because it, it makes sure that my lever, everything is right. And, and I, I, I look at the cue ball and it tells me what's happening. And in this case, I'm pretty pleased with it, especially since I haven't shot much today at all, just early this morning, and that was it. And, and I, re I did this drill and had it loaded, loaded in my camera, and I lost it and because of my firmware issue I had with the camera. So that's why I've been busy, uh, not on the table, but dealing with my GoPro camera. So, uh, but I wanted to put this together to talk about four things that are going on here, Warren, that um, I want you to really pay attention to in your stroke because it, this drill revealed these things to me and it made all the difference. And then now when I play a nine ball game, it helps me because it's inevitable I'll have a longer straight in shot and I just feel like, yes, I got it, okay, because of this drill. So first thing I wanna talk about, and I made videos on these things separately, but I'm gonna talk about them all right now. The hand position, don't let it flip out because what I found is that showing now along this line you can do this into a bottle as well and you'll tell right away. But if I look at the line, I wanna go straight down the line. Well, when my hand was flipped, I saw my stick arc. Just exaggerating right there, but that's what it was doing. It was arcing throughout the whole stroke, making me shoot inconsistently. So once I got my hand straight, then I would shoot through, no problem. It upped my percentage probably 20% more than what I was making just with that one change right there. Now the other thing too is the loose grip. I'm gonna turn this camera down guys, sorry about that. The, uh, the loose grip is huge 
You don't want to strangle that cue. It's got to be loose. Just catch the cue when you shoot through it. Just catch it with your hand. It's not a slip grip, but it's almost. I, I only hold it with two fingers, really. A third finger just barely touched, and a pinky never even touches. So it's my thumb, two fingers, third finger just slightly, just enough to control the stick or get it started, cradling it in my hand. So huge there for sure. The other thing is too, is to get down low. So I used to be up here above the stick. Now I'm down on the stick with my chin right on it. Okay. It's almost like right on the stick. I see the line better that way. So those are, those are three things that are really important. Now, how do you uh, align it? You got to make sure that you have your dominant eye over your stick. In my case, it's the right eye. So when I get down on, these, on the shot and I'm down there low like this, my chin is on the inside of the stick and my right eye is over the stick looking down at it. Everyone's going to be a little bit different there because of our vision and what we you know, perceive to see, but that's what works for me. And I can really see down there. Now I use an open bridge when I'm shooting this long straight in shot so that I can see the entire stick with no uh, disruption there, like a closed grip might, might, show, uh, might have. So I just keep it open and I just make my stop shot. So Warren, when you shoot this shot, what I would also suggest is that you um, don't worry about making a stop shot. Don't try to do a draw shot. Just hit center ball, like stun, you just try to pocket the ball. You're gonna get, you know, some forward movement with your cue ball, but that's okay. Don't worry about that, because you're really just focusing on your mechanics of your stroke, okay? Then, once you start to bury that shot over and over again, now is when you start to uh, apply a little bottom spin to it, you know, maybe for a stop shot just below the equator. If you want to draw it back in and try to draw it back to the other uh, corner pocket that you're hovered over that you're shooting from, you can try that too. That's the most difficult, I will say that, because it'll, and even for me, I mean, I can pocket that ball all day long. As soon as I start to put draw on it like that, I'll miss that shot, sometimes several times. Or you can play just follow, where you try to follow the cue ball into the pocket as well. That's another good one, because if you're off just slightly with your stroke, the cue ball won't follow that ball into the corner. So very important. So what do we got? We got grip. Don't want it to be too tight. We want to be down low on the stick. We want our hand in and we want our eye over the stick. Those four things are huge. Give it a try, Warren. I think it's going to help you. Um, hopefully, I want to, I, it'd be nice if I could be with all you guys just one on one because man, I could, I could look at your stroke and I could probably see what I was doing wrong within your stroke and maybe instantly be able to turn you guys around and help you. If you guys have any questions, any comments, go ahead and leave them here and I'll be happy to answer them. Take care.